Hello everyone and welcome back to Clever Road. As you may know, the right choice of technology always matters. Having experience of work with a variety of technologies, we decided to tell you how to decide between Angular and React frameworks. AngularJS is an open-source JavaScript framework providing everything needed to create a client site or website. It is worth noting that its second version, unlike the first one, has got rid of all unnecessary complexity. The deep of Angular 2, developers has added native app support, server-side rendering, and much more. We also cannot omit the fact that Angular 2 performance increased dramatically. First of all, Angular is a Google's creation that was designed with simplicity in mind. It means that Angular will not injure coders' psych while learning. Besides, many coders point out that if your Angular code looks complicated, you are doing something wrong. To popular websites built on Angular, we can refer to Good Films, Freelancer, Upwork, etc. React.js is a JavaScript-based open-source library with a GSX compiler. This library is mainly focused on the user interface, allowing to create reusable UI views components. From the technological point of view, React-based solutions are CO-friendly. Their performance and flexibility are high. To popular websites built on React, we can refer to Netflix, Feedly, Walmart, etc. Before we come to technologies comparison, tap the button below to stay tuned. Now let's dive deeper into details that may be quite important during technology selection. You should be acknowledged with a kind of license that framework is disturbed under. Most licenses are pretty flexible to work with, and you can use them to create commercial apps without any problems. However, there is a variety of licenses that don't give you such a freedom of actions. Angular and React are both open source with no restrictions towards the usage. Angular uses MIT license against three clause BSD used in React. However, the only visible difference of BSD is abandoned usage of right holder's name for advertising purposes. The model view controller patterns allows to split the project's data into three components – model, view and controller. This way, the modification of each component can be conducted independently, leading to tighter code and increasing the quality of the final product. Among all the Angular 2 features, the availability of MVC pattern out of the box is a significant advantage over React. Talking about Angular, worth to mention its ease of display templates writing. Having a really straightforward UI for your data, Angular allows you to get the end result with a more intuitive approach to the user interface. That demands less code and seems to be more obvious. In case with React, it requires special functions in order to manage data display. Mostly, it means that you should define the way your data is represented before it will be coded into the DOM. That may cause a disconnect during its attempts to determine how a certain element will be rendered. Angular uses two-way data binding. With its help, the framework is able to connect DOM to model data via controller. In a nutshell, when users interact with inputs and give a new value to your app, not only view can be updated, but the model too. Accordingly, you don't need to write any method for tracking these changes within the app. However, this approach affects performance since a watcher for each binding is created. React uses one-way data binding where the flow of data is directed only in one way. Due to this, you will always be aware of a place where your data changes. This approach is much easier to debug when it comes to large applications. Angular creates a watcher for every binding in order to track all the changes in DOM. As soon as the view gets some updates, Angular starts comparing obtained values with the initial ones. So that Angular 2 performance may cause some problems when it comes to massive apps. React.js developers have introduced a virtual DOM concept that allows creating light DOM trees saving it on the server. Every time a user interacts with the website, for example fill in the form, React creates a new virtual DOM when comparing it with previous one. After the library has found all the differences between these two models, the virtual DOM will be rebuilt. This way, React performance increases when it comes to big amounts of data since there are no watchers. Follow the link to see our experience of work with these technologies and read more detailed comparison. That's all for now. Subscribe in order not to miss our next video related to most popular programming languages of 2017.